Yeah, hello and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. Today I'm together with Cornelius out in Kimber Camp. As you can see, it's a good weather out here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to talk about some stuff. My new hat, my new bracelet. And uh, yeah, also make a little something to eat and yeah, something to drink. And of course, my little special coffee. Yeah, and then I have some projects uh, I have to do out here. And I talk about that too, but uh, let's go in. Yeah, what do you think about my new hat? Isn't it cool? Yeah, it's an Australian hat that I got uh, from Australia. They're very kind there. Uh, it's a company called Aushi Chiller or something like that. You can see it here. Yeah, and uh, this company offered me one of those hats. Uh, there's some uh, videos on the internet regarding uh, the products. They can be uh, soaked in water and just pop up and dry it and then they look like new again. That's at least what they say in the commercial. And uh, I can tell you it's a really good quality. I like it a lot and it's light. I can wear it in the summer and uh, yeah. They also make one with holes in so it will be ventilated. But I choose this one called Bushy Plus because it has a wider shade here, you can see. Uh, the other one is a little bit smaller here. And I would like to try one with a large shade. So when I'm out in the uh, sun, uh, I won't have sun in my eyes. And uh, yeah, it's really awesome. I like it a lot. And uh, go into the website and check it out. There are many different kinds of hats there and uh, caps and so on. And uh, yeah. I can recommend it because the quality uh, speaks for itself. It's really good quality and uh, yeah, Australian look is a little bit uh, different than my usual look. Uh, the deer hunter hat I had or have, uh, I've used, but I wanted a bigger one. And then this opportunity came. So uh, yeah, I'm very grateful for that. But uh, now I think I'll see if I can prepare some firewood so I can start my fire in here. And then I talk about my bracelets and other stuff. Uh, about uh, the next weekend when I'm going on the Viking market. So, but let's chop some wood.
today I'm going to make some sausages with some bread here and then muster on. Yeah, you can see Cornelius is very interested in this. It's not much for sausages. Let's see if he's going to like it today. But this is uh, the best uh, muster you can have, we think, in our family. So yeah, I think I have to let it burn down a little bit before I can put it on. Oops, I almost forgot. And then a good Danish beer, Tupor. Perhaps you know that brand. It's a Danish brand. Uh, the beer I love the most. Um, Pilsner. Yeah. So this is my little lunch for today. Yeah, and then I got two new bracelets. You can see here. Really cool. A small one. And a big one here. Yeah. It's made out of um, paracord. So it's more bushcraft than Viking. Because of course the Vikings didn't have paracord. But it looks cool and uh, it's really Viking style. And it's a company in Ukraine that sent me this. The company name is um, Not Finds. You can see it here. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I love it. It's been a while since I uh, received this. Uh, then I had my operation and uh, vacation and so on. So uh, this is the first time using it, and uh, it's really cool. You can see the closure here. Very sturdy. And uh, yeah, I like it a lot. And those of you who know, you can use the paracord in an emergency situation if you want to do that. The little one I wear it all summer. It has a little hook there. So go in and check them out. Not finds uh, on the web internet. Of course, I put a link for that and also for the uh, hat, the Australian hat I got. Really cool. And I think I'll put these over. Perhaps a little bit higher. Yeah. Then I just have to wait. everyone. Mm. <sighs> mm. I think they're done. And then the, the muster on. Oh yeah. Want some sausages, Cornelius? 
I don't think he will. Back home he doesn't like it. Back on his. Where is it? Right there. Yeah, a good little meal. These sausages is called Frankfurter here in Denmark. Don't know if it's from Germany or what, but I like the taste of them. And as I said in the beginning, uh, next weekend I'm attending a Viking festival in Seba. I was there uh, last year and uh, this year I'm going to attend again with my tent. The whole weekend I come there Friday and I uh, leave back home uh, on Sunday. So, and uh, Saturday and Sunday there will be uh, public uh, access, so uh, a lot of people will come and see what we are uh, doing uh, like Vikings. And um, because uh, the people that are arranging this uh, festival, they like uh, something that the people can look at. So I've decided I would like to uh, carve some spoons and other stuff uh, on the Viking festival. So. I can show people how that is done and uh, yeah and that's one of the reason why I took out here today in Kimber Camp because I have to find some birch wood and must be both birch wood that is not uh, old but uh, fresh and with uh, Sabian because that's much easier to carve in. So uh, before I make my coffee I would like to go up in the uh, forest and see if I can find some uh, birch wood Perhaps I have to cut down a little tree. It doesn't have to be uh, large pieces because I'm going to uh, split it and then use uh, two half in uh, in a, a, a branch or something. So um, now I'm going to see if I can go up there and find that, and then uh, uh, and then cut it out here so I can bring it back home and uh, bring it with me uh, next weekend on the Viking market on Seba. And uh, if you are living in Denmark or uh, in the northern part of Denmark, perhaps you have the opportunity to come up and visit us and me on the Viking Market. It would be very cool to see you there. Yeah. So yeah, let's go up and see if I can find uh, some pieces of wood. I don't only have to use perhaps five or ten pieces. I can split and then make uh, some. Uh, some spoons, uh, perhaps a spatula, I don't know what. I'll be inspiring up there. Yeah. And this will do. I got some pieces different length. Perhaps I can make a long spoon out of this when you're stirring the pot. And some uh, smaller spoons you can eat from. Yeah, now I have one, two, three, four, five, six 
And that means when I split it, I'll have 12 pieces I can work on. That's more than enough for such a weekend. And yeah, I won't split it now because the fresher the wood is, the easier it is to carve. So if I split it now and wait um, a week, then it will be not completely dry, but it will dry out and uh, then it will be more difficult to carve in. So um, I'll wait splitting it until I come up to the uh, Viking Festival and then I can begin carving it uh, Saturday and uh, Sunday. So yeah, just have to bring them back home in the car and uh, next weekend to the weekend market. So now I think it's time for coffee. Uh, I have a little bit of beer here. Mm. And I must say, normally I can't wear a hat in the summer because it's too hot for me. But this one is actually very uh, smooth to have on. I don't sweat a lot. And uh, I think if I got the one with the holes in, it would be even better. But again, I like this. Uh, brighter or broader shade here, so I choose that. So yeah, let's have some coffee. Yeah, let's put it down here, and we can bring it back home. Isn't that right, Cornelius? And I haven't offered you something to drink, some water. Are you thirsty? It's not. It's not extremely hot today, about 20 degrees Celsius, but yeah, we have to drink some water, not to dehydrate. So yeah, gotta use all that to If you're thirsty, yeah. Let's see. My little kettle. Oh yeah, it's been a while since I've been out here in Kimber Camp. I think it's almost three months. Well, I don't perhaps two. The last video I made before I went on my vacation was out here. So yeah, that was when it always uh, good to come back and see everything is okay because we have a lot of uh, bad weather. Lots of rain and um, wind, so I'm glad to see it's all uh, standing nicely and no uh, intruder in my little shelter here. So I'm very grateful for that. A little bit lower. Yeah. yeah. And then some. Coffee. Here it is. Again, it's lemon coffee, whiskey coffee, one more, yeah, I think that'll do. And uh, yeah, just to straighten out, uh, I never delete a comment. I think I've done that two or three times in all the years I've been YouTuber because the comments were very ugly and very hostile. So I uh, deleted those, but even though you are uh, having a negative comment on my uh, channel, I never delete it. Sometimes I just put a heart on so you can see I've read it, but um, I just got, just before I went out here, I wrote a, a comment on, on my latest video that, uh, oh, you deleted my comment again. 
something about uh, commercial photography and so on. And uh, yeah, and I wrote back to you. I never delete comments, and I don't do that. Only made it, uh, only done that a couple of times. Um, so, but sometimes I don't get the comments. YouTube, uh, they uh, just vanish somehow or disappear. And uh, sometimes I can't answer your comments. Uh, I can read it, but I can't answer it. I don't know why, but that's how it is. Um, I try to reply to all my uh, feedback. And I really appreciate that. My latest video uh, from uh, Hammer Hills, I got a lot of comments. I think I got almost 400, 500 comments, plus the comments from my other videos that people are watching, and really grateful for that. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of things to answer on. So I, I made a, a, a kind of template comment that I could put in in uh, much of the reply I had. Sorry for that, but. Uh, uh, five or six on the comments uh, it's a lot of uh, things uh, and I just can't uh, cope with that so uh, if it's going to do that again uh, you must bear over with me always read your comments and give it a, a, a heart and also a little thing uh, so we can see uh, and of course if you have a question or some something like that I'll answer that so yeah but um, this is a hobby for me and uh, I also have to uh, attend to my family and my other hobbies, so uh, I hope you understand that. Now, let's see. Ah, yep, it's hot here. Boom, boom, boom. How can I get this up? Like this, yeah. It's starting to get warm, hot. So, uh, almost time for coffee. Oops, yep. And uh, for those of you who are very observant, you noticed I didn't come salt in, and that's because I'm getting old. <laughs> yeah, I forget things, but uh, that's how it is. No, and because I change uh, from Viking to this bushcraft, I often forget to come my salt for my Viking gear over in my bushcraft and the other way too. So. Yeah, that's the way. Because of, perhaps it's because I'm getting old. I don't know. But now, time for coffee. And Cornelius is sleeping, laying in the sun, sleeping. I think he's having a good time. Skål everyone. Ah. And thanks again for joining us out here in Kimber Camp. My little sanctuary. Sanctuary I think it's called. A place where I can rest, charge up my batteries and just enjoying life together with Cornelius. I hope the weather next weekend will be good, just like now, so I can have a good time in my Viking tent, uh, two nights there, three days, enjoying time with my Viking friends there. It is so great.
this is all for now folks. I hope you enjoyed this little video from Kimber Camp together with Cornelius and me. Nice to be out here again. I'm glad you joined us. Hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye. Take care.